Hello and welcome, Virgo. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. So, what are we going to do here? What we will, what we will be doing here, Virgos, is we will look at the overall energy for the months of June 2023 for your very sign. Before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's any healing that needs to happen, if there's any love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2023. So, let's have a look. I always open up the cards that are shuffled at the same time because while the... Um, the topics, if that makes sense, are slightly separate. <clears throat> They're not separate readings. And in order for things to flow better, it makes sense to have it all here at the same time. <clears throat> Point is, let's get this, uh, let's get this started. What you're being asked in June 2023 to understand is that you are actually not in a bad place. Should you feel you're in a really bad place, then what the guides are saying is now is the time to understand that not everything that is negative will stay negative, not everything that is low energy will be around forever. So things are actually on the up already. Because what you're being asked is twofold. Number one, you are in the energy of the number seven, even though we're in the six months. Seven is the highest number of protection and healing. So at this point in time, things are only up for you. Things are going to get better if they're not already better. But here is what the guides are asking you to do. Usually in a reading, the idea is, is to always look at where are we at this point in time, which is not a bad idea. But your job is to look at where you want to be and then manifest a progression rather than just thinking about, oh, I'm in a really bad place, nothing works for me. That sort of energy will not, does not serve you at all. So should you be in that place right now, sounds a bit harsh, but stop it, right? Sounds a bit weird, you know, because it's always, it's not quite as simple when you say to people, life is what you make it, they tell you to piss off uh, because they probably tried everything under the sun to, to, to improve the situations and it just doesn't, it just isn't quite there. Point here is your job, Virgos, at this point in time, is to, sounds a bit weird, but that's what I'm getting, is to reflect on the future that hasn't happened yet. So what is it you want to achieve? Where is it you want to go? Right? So, and then thinking like, oh, so the point is there's this bit of a, sounds horrible, it's just, I'm not here to apologize, really, literally, but the point here is what they, the way they show me your energy, Virgo, is once it's low, you're going into whining, right? And, and, and yeah, you have the right to, to express yourself and say like, oh, when, when things are shit, you know, let, let people know how you feel. But it is counterproductive to what you could be doing. And what you could be doing, apparently, is to manifest the future that you want. So go for it. What is it you really want? Even if you don't know what you want, you can say to your guides, all right, I'm accepting the challenge to have a better now and a better tomorrow make it happen, and then you see changes coming away because of the energy being higher. Really, really important. So <coughs> what we're doing here right now, we're sort of breaking through a bit of, um, of old, stale energy that isn't quite working and moving into, yeah, let's do stuff. That is what really is asked of you in June, to make it happen, right? Have a bit of faith, have a bit of trust that things can be better than they are right now, and work towards it, go towards it, right? Going backwards is not an option because the energy here, or the word that I'm getting here, is future. Right? Really, really important. Now, let's go and look at your emotional core. When it comes to your love life and with regards to the healing that still needs to happen in your emotional core, you have to understand that you are, you have made progress, you are making progress, but there is a dignity about you that is not even in question right you may have lost the plot at times you may have you know uh, when when relationship came to an, came to an end maybe you were a bit uh, out of line at times but what the guides are saying is yeah you made these mistakes in the past and maybe 
overreacted in the moment, right? Or sometimes you feel, you know, you needed to react that way. Bottom line here is, when it comes to understanding that a better future, again, it seems to be this, the theme for you here, is about to happen. It only happens when you understand not to blame yourself for past actions. Because remember, if there is anything karmic, it'll come your way. Right? Apologies don't 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 mean a lot if you have really hurt someone karmically. Even though that's not really what I'm fully getting. The point here is in order for you to be in your strengths to manifest new things, which is what's coming uh, for you. Um, if you ever have the, the thoughts of, of blaming yourself, right, Virgos, pointless, saying like, oh, it's all my fault, and maybe I should have, could have, would have, goes nowhere. The point the guides are making is, in order for you to be in the strengths, have the dignity that you deserve about you, make sure you understand that, yeah, everybody makes mistakes, right? you sure made a few, other people maybe did as well, but it's not about taking stock, keeping score, this is really about understanding I want to be in my strengths, I'm moving toward my strengths, but not by by taking it out on myself and blaming myself, right? So if anybody is in your life that is blaming you, they shouldn't be there, right? Okay, that's what I'm getting. Lastly, last but not least, we're looking at opportunities as they come to you and as they present themselves to you in the months of June. This is for, uh, can't even talk. <laughs> Mm. can't even remember what you're for <laughs> you're obviously Virgo sorry this is for Virgo lost my train of thought here anyway the interesting thing here is when it comes to opportunities you have the eighth house and the eighth house is not your house the eighth house is the house of Scorpio and the eighth house is about things that are hidden you know, like like pleasure in the bedroom, that kind of stuff, a bit more, you know, can I dare being a certain way? What the guides are saying when it comes to opportunities, the more liberated you are, and not asking you to be a pawn star tomorrow, no, here is wrong, but the point they're making is, you know, um, if you can embrace how you truly feel about yourself, how you truly feel about um, your the way you look at the world, if that makes sense, right? And, and what you identify with. This is surprising to me because these are opportunities as they, as they present themselves to you and the opportunities are about what sustains you financially. And yet, this feels very much like opening doors, um, stating your beliefs, um, but that also makes sense in that sense because once you state what you really feel and, and how you really tick, um, there's less roads that you could be attracted to that aren't for you, if that makes sense. So on a whole, I have to say this, and um, it might be because my, my sugar levels are a little bit low today, um, so maybe I'm not putting it together well. Um, my experience is that whatever I put out, uh, um, most people get it. <laughs> the point here is I'm, I myself am surprised to find that part of who you are will inform the opportunities you make that it comes up quite late in the reading. I would have expected this, if there's a, if there is such thing, to to um, for this to come up in the emotional call. But then again, I said it earlier. I opened up all the cards because it because things are flowing. They're not separate. So <laughs> that's how this works. Ultimately, what you're being asked is to look at what's stopping you from having pleasure, what's stopping you from feeling fulfilled in your personal life and intimate life. Um, and look at can this be changed because that will make you a happier person and that will allow you to manifest opportunities that you can't even see yet right okay that's all i got my dear virgos thank you so much for watching like i said it's always important that you like subscribe and share um, and i see you all next month Bye bye